channel welcome to the workshop today we are fitting a um, secondary table for the camper I picked up one of these cranked posts uh, there's a couple of these knocking around on eBay and the likes I got this one from just campers for a specific reason and the tablet attaches to the uh, the B pillar here uh, but this one comes with two of two of this type of connector which allows it to rotate but it has one that comes on this end which allows the table to be rotated that way to be stored when, when traveling rather than to connect disconnect it and then store it somewhere else in the van with limited room um so the plan is to rotate attach one of these to the bulkhead just down here uh with some self-tapping screws i've had a quick look behind the eggs the fuel filler keeps fairly tight to the top of this and then sort of cuts across so with the small screws i've got which i've only got I think, 25 mil ones uh, we shouldn't hit anything um so that's that uh, as a table though because you don't come with a table i've bought a skim board to fit so the first plan is to get the uh the arm fitted and then we can work out where that's going to be positioned to make it comfortable for the drive to, to, for the passenger seat and also when it swings out because it'll swing out outside as well for when we're away camping and um, to make sure it's uh it's in a good position for that the logo on the front may well change i'm not too sure yet and um, mrs might might paint that up to match the van but we'll see how it goes but I'm not sure about this yet whether i'm going to drill through it and bolt or whether i'm just going to screw it up from the bottom um it's not that thick though it's only about eight or nine mil thick so i can might just bolt from the top into it so the first job is to get this self tapped onto that okay so i've taken this part it comes back into a couple of pieces i don't need to go in this position here it can't really go anywhere else other than there so i'm going to be using these self tapping um self cutting um screws the reason for it is because of the carpet i could drill the holes but i couldn't guarantee the position would be right so i'm literally just gonna get this in get the first one in which is probably this one at the bottom when you want the top and then i'll square the whole thing up Might have to, I think I might have to drill some holes for those two because if you look, it's, uh, it's not running clearly, it's curved. So, what I think I'm going to do is drill a couple of holes um, and I've got some self, longer self tapping screws. Okay, so I drill a bit, I'm just going to drill these two and I've got some, uh, some longer self tappers. I'll probably get something to match these eventually. Okay, after a number of drill bits, I've got some self tappers in top and bottom there. I'll, I'll change them to something more suitable. So, that slides in there. What's there? This all goes in there. Change his position. That's quite good. This one can bolt on. And this thing needs to go on top somehow like that. I'm not sure what distance up and down this is going to be because I want to be able to open it out. So I need to have a look at that in a minute. Let's put these up there, I'm going to see a bit better. This was to go on there like that. I want to be able to. Let me swing this out. So there. Which means that's going to limit position on the back there so I might just mark that so that's as tight as you're going to get it uh, for position so I'm going to go get a, a marker pen okay so I've got a marker pen 
I just want it to go to somewhere about the most. I think it's going to have to be somewhere about there and there. So I'll square this up in a minute. Let's just check that when that closes. Where's that in position? Well, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. And the question would be is if it's at that point, it will stop there like that. So that works quite well. Right, so I've got those marks on the back. I'm going to strip the, uh, the plastic off it, find a centre, and then I think, yeah, I think we'll try and screw it on. I see I've got some small screws. Let's see. Okay, so I've got the board. I've got some bolts, these are M4s, I've only used these because they're um, count sunk, I've count sunk the front. I've got my marks, I just need to find the centre of this, roughly. fitted it's done quite well i say nice and comfortable in the um the captain's chair um but it can slide out to the door or even all the way out if you're outside the camper just uh having a drink or something like that when, you, when we're away and then if we were to undo this There it is stowed away. I'm starting to quite like that logo, the more I've seen it. Um, but it's stowed away, it, it is removable. You can just literally bolt the thing at the bottom of the door. The whole thing comes out, can be stored away if you don't want it in the van, if we're just run, running around. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be quite a useful addition to the, uh, to the camper, particularly uh, when we do use it as a day wagon. Um, I think just to be able to... Um, let me do this. I think just having that in that part of the van without the table getting in the way which would normally be you know sort of in this position in front of the seat i think that's a better solution for uh, for weight making brews and things um doesn't get away in the way as much so yeah i'm looking forward to getting it used over summer get out to some beaches and uh uh yeah just uh, go and enjoy using it um as i said that's from um just campers with 107 pounds that's just for the um uh, for the cranked leg the top i think i paid 17 pounds for the skin board um got the smallest one i could possibly find some massive ones like surfboards but this one seems to be okay it's a 30 inch one um but yeah so all in all what's that 125 130 quid yeah for uh, for that i say there are cheaper ones but you don't get that flexibility to be able to flip flip this up so Hope this was useful. Um, you saw some battling with there. Get longer 
self-tapping screw, um, self-tapping, self-drilling um, screws. I think I got 25 mil. I think I should have, I should have got 30 to 35 mil to make sure. I had something else in the shed which was useful to use, but I ended up swapping those those two black screws at some point. Um, but yeah, really happy. Thanks for watching.